Jason, I was recently up in Traverse City, had a wonderful time, got there just when the fall colors were right about where they should be, which was wonderful. And uh, uh, Trevor Takach is back with us at Takach, and it's good to see you. I got these pictures. We were moving in the car. Still, wow. color was just perfect. We got downtown, so I had my coffee at Espresso Bay. We went to Franklin right across the street, had some dinner. Uh, we were up there in an RV, so we drove around all kinds of different places. But what blew my mind was seeing all the hops that are growing in all the farms. So when you're talking about Traverse City beer, mm -hmm. it's locally grown stuff in, in most cases, right? It is, yeah. We're lucky enough to have a lot of our own homegrown ingredients right there. Hops has taken off. It's a perfect place to grow uh, hops, just like the cherries and the grapes. I'm sure yeah. you took advantage of the wine sure. while you we were up there. Sure, got some apples too, yeah. Yeah, but a lot of the, uh, the brewery, uh, breweries take advantage of those local flavors, and uh, the hops is definitely blown up over the past couple of years. All right, so let's talk about Beer Week then. Mm -hmm. What is it? What do we get to celebrate? You know, it's everything uh, that's great about the beer industry in, in Traverse City. Craft beer has blown up in Michigan. Traverse yeah. City is proof mm -hmm. of that. We've got 19 uh, breweries and tap rooms in Traverse City. 19. This is our, our wow. fourth year celebrating, and it really is a celebration not just of what we're doing uh, locally in Traverse City, but we bring breweries from all across the state. You've got mm -hmm. Atwater coming up from Detroit. Nice. You've got Founders coming from Grand Rapids, uh, Brewery Vivant, bringing up all these different flavors. They compete in some activities. They do tasting side by side. And you really get to learn a lot about the industry and how important it is uh, to the state and to Traverse City. It's exciting because beer has really stepped up its game. Mm -hmm. It's not just the usual things you find yeah. at the grocery and store. And the places anymore. that are known to have the good food combo with the yeah. craft beers, like, well, Jolly Pumpkin. There was an, I called, hour and a half wait, <laughs> right? Just oh, for lunch. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, where it's happening, it, you're right, it is exploding. It is. Yeah, yeah there's a lot to do during the week of uh, November 11th through the 17th. You can okay. go to uh, TraverseCity.com and look at the full event schedule. But I'm telling you, there's uh, beer pairings with great food or a great culinary scene in Traverse mm -hmm. City as well. You've got tasting samplings all across the Traverse City area. You can go to the, the restaurants, the breweries. You can go to the uh, hotels. They're all going to be participating in a wide variety of events, some of them even fun and exciting, different uh, than what you'd normally traditionally do, uh -huh. potentially, like the beard run. I see you've got that wonderful cap there in front of oh, you. Look. <laughs> Oh boy. The beer, beer, run. beer beard run. Hang on, I'm going to do oh, it. He's I'm going for it. This, this oh, is awesome. Because it's no shave November. There so you I'm go. just getting into my Perfect. getting into there the spirit. Kind of my baseball look. Yeah, so you put that under, you go for a yeah. run? Yeah. <laughs> like a 5K or something? <laughs> so, right, you do a 5K, and uh, every mile you get to stop and have a different beer. So, what did you bring? <laughs> what? Wait, yeah, I was yeah, never no, that's what I'm saying. No, so, you work off the calories? <laughs> this is a uh, different yeah. than your traditional 5K. Oh, my gosh. No, you sign up. This is actually part of the registration. You'll get this cool little beard. So, you don't have to grow one, you can just plop this on. Ready, set, grow. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. So they'll do a different do sampling. Have? We've got a lot of variety here. Yeah. So, some of them local, uh, some of them from downstate. Uh, it, the neat thing about this uh, <clears throat> opportunity to come to Traverse City and, and try all these different flavors mm -hmm. is there's just a lot of really cool stuff. The sours are very popular right now, okay. and there's days and events dedicated just to that. But you can come up. We and, brought you an open and learn because it is Beer <laughs> Thursday here on the show. Good, we don't know good. why. No you know, pressure. <laughs> I, it seems kind of early for me, but it's I really guess you guys early for us. It is too it early. It's too, you're right. I don't know if I should keep you guys going. Maybe you'll. No, we don't have to. On. I just wanted to let you know it was here. <laughs> no, yeah. that's great. All these are great, great products from across the state of Michigan. We're going to showcase these and, and many, many more. Of course, like I said, we've got uh, the 19 uh, properties up in Traverse City, but then yeah. all across the state. Very exciting. Joining forces, getting behind this. But you go to TraverseCity.com. You can find out more about okay. the events uh, that are coming up. And, and we still have the Fab Fall getaway packages available. So you can go, go to TraverseCity.com. Find out what events you want to go to during Beer Week, mm -hmm. then find your lodging specials Beautiful. through Fab Fall and get uh, specials on dining, wineries, other attractions and when you're beer. in Traverse. All right, TraverseCity.com <laughs> is where you can go and learn so That's much. That's right. Fun. Good to see Thank you again. Thank you so much you. for yeah. being here. We hope we're not leading you down a path of early drinking. Jason, but opener. Thank you. I mean, yeah. Jason. <laughs> Maybe at noon. <laughs> How cool is uh, that, right? I can see that again. Hang on. Hang on. He's a lumberjack and he's okay. <laughs> Sleeps all night and he works all I day. I feel more like a cold Amish guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>